Hello, peace and blessings, and welcome to another episode of In the Bed with Red. I'm your girl, Reese Red, and as always, I'm not a comedian. I'm just a woman with some opinions, and what could be funnier than that? Uh, today, I don't have any music to play along with my tirade, so just enjoy the silence. <laughs> no, I'm just being lazy. I didn't feel like doing any setting up the music, so that's why there's no music today, but... Uh, maybe the next time. And I know I've been away for a few weeks. I The last time I recorded was August 20th, Saturday, August 20th, 2011. A few hours after that, my aunt passed um, that Sunday morning. And I've just been really busy with um, my family coming in town and preparing and running here and running there and just uh, doing things, doing extra things as well as preparing for my brother's wedding, which followed my the week of my aunt's funeral. So just the last three weekends have just been kind of busy for me and my family. And I just wanted to say thank you to my family that came in from out of town to uh, celebrate my aunt's home, go home going and my brother's wedding. Um, both of them went off without a hitch. My aunt looked absolutely stunning. Um, at, at the funeral, she she really looked good. I mean, it, it's that's been the the talk of my family since the funeral. She looked really good, and um, so my cousins they did an awesome job with their mother. They she she went out in style. Um, and my brother's wedding was in a in a dream. It was just really nice. Her the colors were coral and turquoise and silver, and it was an African themed wedding. It was really nice. It was really, really nice. Um, typically, I have a topic that I want to talk about when I'm doing my In the Bed with Red episodes. And honestly, I don't have a topic to speak of um, per se. I just have some things that I wanted to talk about that have happened in the last two or three weeks. And maybe you can relate. Um, first thing I wanted to talk about was my family that came in town for the funeral. Um, my mom decided it would be a nice gesture to have food prepared for the out-of-town guests uh, to take the pressure off of my other aunt who lives here in Illinois. Uh, she's always the one that likes to entertain and always has a full bar. I, I've never met two people, her and my uncle, two people that don't drink but have a full bar all the time. But then again, both sides of their family drink ridiculously, so I understand. I get it. But anyway, um, so we had dinner here. I prepared the meal with the help of my other aunt, and um, we were receiving family in, and I got the shock of my life. And I mean, not, not shock like, oh, wow, so-and-so is pregnant. Not that kind of shock. Or, oh, wow. Um, I didn't know you were wheelchair bound. Not that kind of shock. I had a cousin walk into my house with a jerry curl. I'm gonna give you a minute to think about that for a yeah. I mean one minute. Shock. That's all I can say. Because I reached my hands out to greet him and as I was reaching my hands out to greet him, I I stopped talking, and I was, I'm was i not even going to say his name, but I did talk to him about it, so I, I feel comfortable in saying this to the world because I've already talked to him, so I'm not saying anything behind his back because I've already said this to him and to his sisters and to his mother. <laughs> but, I mean, it, was, it wasn't a long curl. It was like a yay big type curl. It was a teeny weeny afro type curl. And it was curled. I mean, it it looked like it might have been freshly done, like the rods just came out. I mean, booster, you know, the active. It looked fresh. It looked really fresh. And I was shocked. I'm still shocked. I'm, I'm in shock right now. So in shock that I don't even know what adjectives to use to describe how in shock I, I am. I mean, I'm just stunned that there are people out there, stylists, beauticians, whatever you call yourselves these days, that still learn those <laughs> techniques. <laughs> that, 
they're teaching these techniques at Mario Tricocci. <laughs> I'm just, I am needing some help because <laughs> I thought we were over it. I did. When Ice Cube cut his curl, I thought we were done. I I thought it was a wrap. When DJ Quick, does DJ Quick still have his curl? When DJ Quick cut his curl, I thought for sure the war was over. Clearly I was wrong. The battle was over. The war hadn't even started. I swear I didn't know. Because my cousin, not only did he have a curl, he had a gold tooth. Yeah. Not a yellow tooth. Gold. And was smiling. Just smiling like, <laughs> this is what's happening. <laughs> oh, I love my family. I do, I do, I do. But that curl and that gold tooth. Call me y'all God. It's 2011. It's August. 20. Well, it was August when I saw him. August 2011. Yeah, and they're still rocking curls and gold tooth and gold teeth. Excuse me. Um, so, hairstylists, beauticians, um, whatever you're calling yourselves these days, can you please? And I mean this in all sincerity. Can you please refuse to give Jerry Curls, Carefree Curls, S Curls, California Curls, whatever kind of curl that requires about two or three hours of preparation before it's done? Can you please refuse those services? I mean, let's just stop. Just put an end to it. Put an end to it. You are killing my people with these curls. Stop it. You can't even hug your family member because you don't want to get the curl juice on your face and start breaking out. It's, 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 it's a bad thing. It's a bad thing. All right, enough of that. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm in shock. <laughs> okay. Um, second thing was um, me and my girl went out for um, the African Fest here in Chicago. Uh, it was the weekend of Labor Day weekend, and we went the last day, which was Monday, Labor Day. And that was honestly my first time going. Look, not every black person does black things, okay? I still haven't been to the Bud Billiken Parade. You can't take my black card because there are other things that I do that allow me to hold and retain my membership as a black person. So back off. But the African Fest this year was my first time attending. I must say I thoroughly enjoyed myself. I came, I didn't come financially prepared, but now I know next time what to do. But um, we were leaving the fest, and we were on the Dan Ryan. For people who are familiar with Chicago and its highways, we were on the Dan Ryan um, going northbound, so going into the Kennedy, but we were getting off on 290 to go west into the into the west side of Chicago and the suburbs. So as we're merging into the off-ramp to go on to 290, there's this truck that comes up beside us, this Land Cruiser. We're in an envoy, and she has a Jamaican flag on the back of her truck right above the envoy um, sticker. So... These guys pull up on the side of us. I'm a passenger. I'm a scrub. <laughs> and they start talking to us. Now, automatically, she always thinks that every guy that's talking to us is talking to me. But she, she's just as gorgeous, just as beautiful, if not more. And I'm like, they're talking to you. It's two guys in the car. They're talking to you. So she's like, no, they're talking to you. So I rolled the window down, and I look to the side, and... The guy, the passenger, the guy on the passenger side of the other car, the other scrub, he's talking to my girl in Jamaican. And so they're going back and forth, and I'm at a loss. I'm just listening for oxtails, um, curry chicken. Those are the words that I'm looking for. Anything else, I really don't need to be part of. The guy in the driver's side just instantly asked for a phone number. First of all, I'm 40 years old. She's 44. 
45, 44. Yeah, we're done are the days of you asking for phone numbers from another car while we're in motion. That's over. That That's not even cute anymore. Secondly, you're high. <laughs> and I don't mean high off life, like happy and just loving, lo loving life. No. High, like glassy eyed, lids so heavy you can't even open them, you know, just barely there. And then you have a scar that goes from here all the way here on your forehead. Like you just got out of a barroom brawl or something. Or maybe you were in a hut somewhere and it, it got real ridiculous with a goat. I don't know. But that scar from here to here, unless you have on some army fatigues and a tag on your chest that says, I just got back from Iraq, I'm not interested. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm not. Call me selfish. Call me spoiled. You can even call me bratty. But you'll never call me the woman of a man who gets in Barbara. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just can't do it. Cannot do it. So, yeah, he had two strikes. Um, yeah, three strikes. First of all, you're trying to holler in your truck on the expressway to women who are 40 years old plus. Secondly, you look high. And third, you have a scar on your face. I'm done. Yeah. No, that's not me. Um, I really don't think I have anything else to talk about. I know there are other things that happen. They're just not coming to my mind right now. And I'm, I'm struggling right now trying to get past the shock of my cousin having a curl. So a lot of, <laughs> I'm losing a lot of information right now because I'm still stuck on that curl. So, um, I'm going to end it. I hope you all have had an awesome Labor Day weekend. Let's see, the next holiday we have coming up is whoo, Columbus Day. Yeah. I know y'all are excited. I know y'all. Mm, Columbus. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> my historians know why I'm laughing. But anyway, I want you all to have a safe um end of your summer in Chicago is just about ended. It feels like fall here, really. It was 60 degrees yesterday, and I think the day before. So, yeah, we're sniffling, nose running, no short wearing, suffering over here. But it's all right. It's all good. It's Chicago, and I think that's what we love most about it. But um, I want you to take care of yourselves, take care of the people around you. If you know someone that you haven't talked to in a long time, give them a call and say, hey, I was just thinking about you. Send them some love. I'm sure they'll appreciate it, and I'm sure someone will do the same thing to you. So with that said, I want to say thank you again for watching In the Bed with Red. I'm Reese Red, and as always, I'm not a comedian. I'm just a woman with some opinions, and what could be funnier than that? You all be blessed.